Hello and welcome to Headnesford Hills Raceway for the British Championship, the race for the black and white chequered reef. Drivers are going to be racing in three out of five heats to determine the grid top point scorers at the front. We're going to follow the meeting, we're going to chat to some drivers and we'll find out who is going to be the champion for 2023. So we're at the 97 car, I had a quick chat with Ryan um, and he's asked that we don't uh, interview him today. Uh, purely wants to focus on retaining his British Championship and obviously we respect that. As you can see, huge amounts of interest in Ryan um, at Hednesford on this very warm Sunday, Sunday afternoon. So we're with Lee Fairhurst, previous uh, British Champion. Lee, Lee, you've won the Championship Hello. twice. Hello. You've won it twice? Uh, have I? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I've, I've been lucky enough to win it twice, so it's but, been a good championship. Yeah. But more importantly, how's the wedding? Oh yeah, brilliant, thank you. What do you yeah, mean? It's very good. Yeah, all good. Nice little breakaway. Yeah. So, nice little refresh and then straight back in the garage, uh, getting this ready. So you knew when you were on honeymoon, were you kind of lying there thinking about the wedding, how great it was, or about yeah, the what, tarmac car? tyres I'm going to use, yeah, yeah. And might put this spring on, and oh, yeah. it might wet, might be wet, <laughs> so sort the tyres out when I get back, so. No, it was just a nice breakaway, yes. just being Jacqueline and then um, straight back to the grind. Yeah. And so in terms of car that you're using today, because you, you were kind of talking about uh, what car it's going to be, so which one is, are you using uh, This is the car I've used for the last few years, uh, yeah. which now belongs to the Goodwin family. Yeah. So Lewis and Wes and Sally and everyone, they've, they've been kind enough to let me use this and hopefully give me the, the best chance of, I've got of uh, trying, to, trying to win it again. Is that because it is like such a good car in your opinion? Yeah, it's a good car, good engine. Um, got a different engine in what we what we race with it so yeah. hopefully that'll be have a little bit more power around here yeah. if it stays dry um, my time at car is just not quite ready yet not yeah. a time to do it so we'll be cracking on with that soon yeah. and get out for the shootout hopefully so you know Headness because <coughs> it is a fast track isn't it and it's fast when it's dry but today it's it's drizzly it's a bit damp does that favor you like do you, do you like that those conditions or? I don't mind them um, it's just trying to get the car right for the conditions really yeah. which is it's the same in the dry really isn't it if your car feels good in yeah. them conditions then you can make the most of it so obviously we'll, we'll be trying our best to yeah what we've got. Well, the trouble with headness for this you don't practice before and so it's good you can go out do like three or four practice sessions and you kind of know roughly where you are with this it's a bit like and you only come once or twice a year so it's quite yeah obviously we've when we just it's not a car of just jumping in and racing yeah. because obviously I know the history and what I've raced for the last few years but obviously I didn't I didn't run the last skeggy double header with it so yes. Might be a bit rusty the first yeah, race, you never know. Yeah. And, and you've been and you've got married and you're like loved up. And it's oh, all, yeah, uh, yeah. Do you know? <laughs> this is just a side issue. British Championship, it's all about scoring points, isn't it? So you've got three heats and then we're going to the final. So do you have like a game plan or is it like... How do you, how do you approach um, it? I, like, I enjoy the format of it, to be honest. It's a good uh, good run championship. Um, yeah. So obviously we're just, we're just trying to get ourselves towards the front of the grid, really, yeah. for the heats. Um, so we don't need to do any heroics in the heat. No. So we're just trying to build, build up points and places and trying to just put ourselves, or give ourselves the best opportunity to try and compete at the front. Yeah. And shootout is coming, you mentioned shootout. You're already in the shootout, aren't you? Yes. Do you like the shootout? Uh, Guy says you have to like the shootout. Yeah, well, yeah, oh, yeah, like, shootout is brilliant, yeah. Yeah, hardly costs any money. Yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? If, yeah. you, if you want to try and uh, win it, then obviously you've got to commit to it fully yeah. and do all 10 rounds and suffer the damage or whatever comes your yeah. way. Yeah, because me and you spoke a bit last towards back end of last year, and obviously you're very, very close in terms of taking the silver roof all in now to Bradford. And does that kind of play in your mind that actually I might need to do something a bit different this year? Or uh, I think every year you, you know, in racing, not like a, a new driver anymore, or no. a young driver even. So every year you gain a bit more experience and um, you just clock up. You know, you learn from your experiences yeah. and what you might have done better uh, yeah. the previous years and just go from there really, that's all you can do. Thank you very much for giving me a bill. Uh, invoice. An invoice. Yeah. Is it VAT included? No so people talk about VAT in stock cars. Well, you had plenty of food uh, on the, <laughs> the night at the wedding, so we had to send some invoices out. Good luck for today. Thank you, mate. Thank Pleasure. you. Cheers. So we're at Hendersburg, I'm going to chat to, I guess, the man of the moment of 408 and more Neils. And it's a pleasure to talk to you. We've never spoken you. before. No, I've watched you many times on YouTube, but yeah. here we are, face to face for here the first time. Are. Here we are. So there's two reasons. I guess, A, you've come into Formula 1 this year. So that's kind of quite interesting for people. Yep. And B, kind of flashback to Skegness last weekend. So let's let's start there. So I think, I can't remember anybody who's kind of come into the sport. We, you know, you, you've been, done a few meetings, uh, like boring cars off Ryan, and then you've kind of come in and you've gone, 
Skegness meeting and you take on the top man in the sport? To be honest, the aim was not to take on the top okay. boys of the sport. We've obviously been involved in this game, three generations, yeah. you know, granddad's gone back from the 70s, yeah. still running his number. Yeah. Um, the whole family's involved. A lot of people don't really know the family connection, okay. um, but obviously, my dad was 197, yeah. Mark Wharton Eels, granddad's 408, Brian Wharton, yeah. 422, Nigel yeah. Wharton, my uncle, uh, 97, Murray Harrison, he's my yeah. uncle, and Ryan's my cousin. Yeah. So, there is a big connection here. Yeah. People don't realise that. Um, and I've been brought up around it, you know, mini stocks from when I was 11. Yeah. Yes, we went circuit racing. Yeah. We've done a lot there, we've been very successful. But this has always been my background, this is what we've wanted to do. So, yes, we've took on the top boys at the sport, but I feel like we had the pace to do that. Okay. And this is a stock car race. Yeah. If we were in the in the back half of the grid all the time and really struggling for pace, obviously you don't yeah. you don't race like that. But but we were racing hard. It's a stock car race. Yeah. Saturday went really well for me. Uh, Frank stuck me in in the, in the Grand National. Yeah. Good move. We yeah. were racing hard. Um, and then yeah, the Sunday is all sort of kicked <laughs> off with Tom really. But I guess the question because the question is, you know like you said you didn't go into that weekend going. I'm going to take them on. It just happened yeah. naturally. Yeah, it's just just how it went. Obviously, we're fast, and and they can see that we're fast. Yeah. And I can understand it. Someone new, in their opinions, yeah. turned up, and we we're going well, and they're they're trying to you know stamp their foot down and yeah. prove their authority. But every car out there has got as much right to to crash into everyone else as they want to. So the way we've looked at it really is, yes, they are the big boys. They're just another car. Yeah. Like we're racing. We want to win. We put a lot of effort in. Um, you know, we've got a Harrison card, and they're very successful. We're, we're just going to get on with it. So, social media, kind of the few days afterwards, sort of blew up. Do yeah. you know what I mean? All I looked at when I looked at Facebook was you, videos of you. Did you expect that? You know, like after we, you know, kind of driving home on Sunday. Did you kind of think it would get that response? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it has. It has blown up. I think. I, I, I mean. Uh, my, my Facebook page has been probably 175,000 reach and, and whatnot since Skegness. Um, it's gone through the roof, but I don't think there's any harm in it at all. It's yeah. good for the sport, Absolutely. it's good for the drivers. I've seen on, on your videos before, it's, it's always looked at... You've got your top levels of motorsport in the UK and, and, and the oval scenes down here, and, yeah. and really it should be up with, yeah, the, with the top formulas, there's Absolutely. no reason. The level of prep in some of the cars is, is like yeah. top touring car teams. We we prep this like it's a proper circuit okay. car, so yeah. you know it should be up there. So yeah, yeah. Let, let's get it on social media and let's get it out. Yeah, absolutely, you did a very good job of doing that. So well done. Um, it's, you mentioned kind of the circuit background and obviously your family history. Um, so why why Formula One now? Was, was it what kind of prompted the move in, to come into Formula One? Obviously, uh, when I was 14, we moved to circuits. Yeah. We, we did the Junior Formula, Sax Max. Um, and we have been really successful and, and, and when you win championships you just go into the next class and the next class. Yeah. And we went British Touring Cars 2017. It was something I always wanted to do uh, since a little it's kid. It's huge, it's huge. Yeah, and, and, it, and I loved it. Yeah. And we did, we did other things since then. Um, Mini Challenge, Clio Cup, TCR UK. We've done everything. Doing that sort of thing 10 years in a row yeah. does get a little bit repetitive. Obviously I've been very lucky the last few years. We've been sort of racing for teams. Yeah. Jam sport racing it, it, as a main, and, and I can't sort of fault anything that, that yeah. they've done for me. With, but it's kind of arrive and drive, do you know what yeah. I mean? It's we arrive there on a Friday, the car's ready to go, yeah. we do Friday practice, Saturday, Sunday, go home. I've not really been as hands on as I like to be. Okay. So I miss having a car in the workshop that we can develop, yeah. we can mess with, we can repair, which we're getting pretty good at. <laughs> um, That's a practice then, yeah. So yeah, I've got something now to, to, to play with. And, I just, I love it, so yeah. Because yeah. you have dipped your toe in the water a few times, sort of boring cars off Brian and 25 champion, yep. so you kind of, you got a feel for it. Yeah, well obviously back then we were very committed to circuit racing. Yes. Um, and uh, I got a little, I got a little thing back then, 2017, we're the only person to ever race a, a British touring car and a Formula 1 stock car at the same time. Yeah. Um, that was a little nice box yeah. ticked. But we were obviously circuit racing committed then. Yeah. Now I've decided this is what we want to yeah. do, so we're all, we're all out yeah. in this now. So you're obviously very much enjoying it. Um, so I guess plans, aims, aspirations for Formula One. Is it, to, is it to kind of get to the top of the spot? To be honest, I've not really, I've not really got many plans. Yeah. Quite a few people have come up to me today and said, oh, are you building a shale car? Yeah. Are you yeah, going yeah, yeah. shale? I've said, to be honest, oh, I've got no plans to do shale at the minute. We're just literally taking it as it comes. Yeah. Every race as it comes, get stuck in. If we, you know, if we can do, do well this weekend, 
it, it just the, the better you do, yeah. the, the more into it the whole family and everyone gets. Yeah. So, but it's interesting building a, you. Like, yeah. you can see that when you pulled up, you know, there's more interest around you than anybody. Do you know what I mean? Everybody's like around, and, and that is that is good. Good for you. Yeah. For sport. Yeah. Yeah. We're you know we're, we're not here for five minutes. Yeah. That's the plan. We're here for the long run. I'm building a, a, a transporter back at the yard that's not ready yet. Hence yeah. why we come with Ryan. Yeah. Um, but yeah, once that trailer's done, it's built. It is built to take two cars. Yeah. Um, nice workshop in it. So. Yeah, if it grows to two cars and we're, we're doing every meeting of the year, then, then that's what it does, yeah. Absolutely, perfect. British Championship today, you're familiar with the format. You said you watched, watched yep. me this week, which is nice, yep. lovely. So uh, it's, a, it's a great format, I think, you know what I mean? You kind of build and build and you get to that kind of like crescendo of the meeting final. Are you kind of getting into it tactically or is it just what will be will be? My aim really uh, is the same as what me and Ryan have spoke about. We're just going to race, just get yep. on with the racing. When you three clean heats, everyone knows that you need to try and score as much points as you can. Three clean heats would be nice. And then just see how the final yeah. goes. Like I've, I've never been in a, in a closed grid Formula One race like yeah. this. Everything I've done has always been graded. Um, yeah, we'll just, just see how it goes. Just, you, you can't write anything in this no. sport. You can't plan it, you can't do no. anything. Just whatever just, it is at the time, off. just get on yeah. with it, yeah. yeah. Listen, it's so much, uh, thanks so much for taking time out to talk to me. It's great right. to kind of get a bit of background and kind of like yeah. the journey so far. Good luck for today. Cheers, and, thank um, you. Don't do too much damage. You, I'll try not to. But you like fixing it though, yeah? I do like fixing yeah, it, good. yeah. So when's the next time at one? Is there a big gap? So the next one's Buxton. Buxton oh, semi-final, yeah, semi-final. Uh, so. To be honest, I don't think we're going to do Buxton because yeah. we have booked him to do Venray. Ah, and that's yeah. uh, like a week and a half after, I think, when yeah. we when we kept the ferry yeah. out. So um, this this chassis, obviously there was, there was four of these chassis built originally, has won the Gold Cup twice. Yes. yes. Uh, one with Ryan, one with Roy Masson. Yeah. So um, she does go well over there. So. Yeah, we're not going to get involved in the in the semi at Buxton, I yeah. don't think. Um, concentrate on, on Demray, yeah. Good. Brilliant. Thanks so much for talking to me. Good luck today. Cheers. Thank you. Tom, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Nice weather. Yeah, nice black cloud up there. Like, yeah. It's like we've done this before, like a yeah, minute ago. Yeah, a minute ago, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, um, today you're very much coming into the meeting as favourite. People are kind of going, Tom's going to potentially win. Do you agree with that? Are you okay with that? Oh, it doesn't matter to me, but, you know, they said that before World Final, didn't they? It and is. then uh, look what happened there. Yes. It <laughs> didn't end well. So, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, car's been going well. I've. Uh, I'm hungry for it, I want to win, so yeah. um, you know, we'll just have to play it play as it comes. Going back to Skegness, you know, sort of saying you're hungry for winning, absolutely, I think you've pretty much dominated that, that meeting, you know, that you're going out in races, you're coming from the back, you're taking victories, getting involved in some proper stock car racing. Did you enjoy that meeting? Because it, it had everything for you. Yeah, I, I did, and uh, you know, Skegness is a place for plenty of action. Yeah. Um, it is a proper stock car track, as you would say, so um, you know, fortunately there was a proper stock car race in the final on Saturday night, which I got taken out at the beginning of. And I was uh, fortunate enough that the, the yellow flags got me back to, to uh, within a contention of winning, yeah. which uh, you know, which obviously to crash and then win, it's uh, it's even more special. Yeah. So uh, I think the weekend had everything. It had controversy, and you were very much at the the centre of it. And I think you, from kind of listening to you, you were very much playing that that oh. part, which is which you, is good. The you, sport needs you that. You have to do, yeah. That, that's what the sport needs, isn't it? You know, the sports needs. Who's the child? There's a child. There's a child. The sport get the needs, child. Uh, yes. <laughs> He's good. a banger boy, he's alright. <laughs> um, yeah, the sport needs that, that excitement and the talking on the internet and, uh, you know, the, the atmosphere at Skegness yeah. on the Sunday. You know, I think I got a better reception then than when I won the World Championship. Whether yeah. they were booing me, cheering me, yeah. shouting abuse at me, it was, it was fantastic and, you know, fantastic for the sport in a whole. Because yeah. people want, that's why people come stock cars. Yes, they like cars going around in a circle, but they like that something happening something's yeah, kind of it's, the, the it's, talk and it's this, you know it's been something to talk about isn't it so yes. um you know again yeah. you know there's a few people that are here today that probably wouldn't have been if it yep. wasn't for skegness so um you know i'll uh, tap dean up for a share of the you share should. of the game money you should. You should. british championship format send him that way though not this way yeah he's all right now. um do you come into this meeting with a bit of a game plan because it is a bit it has to be a little bit tactical because you've got three qualifying heats to, to get out of the foot at the front of the final Every time I come to the British, I say I'm just going to, you know, take it as it comes, and it never seems to do me any favours. You know, I've I've been fortunate to win the race once. Yep. 
and uh, that was more luck than judgment with uh, Lee and Matt here at Henniston. Yeah, so, um, yeah, of course. Yeah, I, you know, I've started on pole countless many times on the front row, and uh, you know, it seemed to wear on my equipment out in the heat, and then don't have nothing left for the final. So, um, you know, today we've got a really busy heat now because uh, there was nobody in that heat. So we've got a really busy heat now. So. You know, try and keep your nose clean and uh, you know, keep all four wheels on it and then uh, you know, see how we go. If you win races, which you will potentially do, we'll come and talk to you. Or if you're involved in stock car races, we'll come and talk to you about that as well. Oh, sure, we'll see you a yeah. lot then. <laughs> Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you very much. We're with a driver who's potentially won the most British Championships uh, here today. I think that's fair enough, because you've won nine. Yes. 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 Happy with that? Go for ten. Go no. for ten? No. 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 no, 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 no. Still want it in more. Are you happy ahead in this week? Because we've spoken, we did your we did your driver spotlight uh, last season. Yeah. And you're like, why have you chosen Henderson? It's my worst track. I hate it. No, I did not lie. No. <laughs> no, hey, you know it's going to be a good day. Yes. We're on form, on time, We're yeah. up there. You know what I mean? Tom's leading the way. Tom and Ryan. You know what I mean? We've just got to try and keep up with them. And... So, do you prefer it damp or dry? Do you? Because you, everybody's going. It, if it's wet, the Frank will win it. It is either that... it either wants to be dry or wet. Yeah. In between is awful. So you wreck your wet tyres, you put dries on, they're not good enough, it's one of them. Hopefully it's going to stop dry all day and yeah. they'll all be just on dries and that's, yeah. Do you like the format of the British? And does yeah. it make you drive in a particular way? Yeah, you, you've, you've, got to be, you've got to qualify. Oh, I think last time we had it here, I qualified second row inside. Yeah. That was Perfect. above where I wanted to start, I've yeah. got to be honest, or where I expected to start. Yeah. Um, and I think I came home third, maybe, I can't just remember, yeah. but that no, was a good meeting. But, you know, we, we were just here enjoying it and obviously, I'd like to make ten. Everybody keeps telling me nine's not a good number to win, but I, like I mean, no. I'm being honest. Yeah, yeah. I had a tech nine when I started yes. racing. I had a tech yeah. one when I started racing. So nine, I mean, you know, I'm 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 yeah. over the moon with that. But now we're still trying. Because you need like, because red's a bit like everybody's got a red roof. You need like a different colour roof, don't you? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we tried yeah, European. So we lost the European. Yeah. We had that for a year, but again, that was good. You know, I mean, I enjoyed having that. All the championships, the majors, the, the ones you want to win, you know what I mean? I, you know, I've won over 30 of them now, so far, yeah. so... But I'm, I'm still wanting more. Yes. You know, I'm, I'm not here just to make the numbers up, you know, I, I want to get stuck in, I want to be qualify on first sort of four or five rows, yeah. and then see where we get on. Do you think your tarmac form is good this year? Because we don't do yeah. so much tarmac, I suppose. The shale's kind of like, we can... Yeah, it's been super, is... obviously we... Uh, we made the decision, all the drivers made the decision to let them run rally tyres, which yeah. has meant that I could run competitively all season on, yes. on my old tyres if point if I haven't bought a single time at tyre till today. Okay. And and that's been why I've raced this season. I wouldn't have been doing half the time at means yes. otherwise. Uh, we just can't afford it. The, the tyre job is just is so bad at the minute. Yeah. Uh, today obviously we're onto the normal time at tyres which you know the sponsors and all my friends have chipped in and we've got tyres for everybody so we're gonna give it a go yeah. Good, perfect. But Sean Pidgeon you were saying you've done a lot of work on the time at car. Oh just what why? Was Skegness a bit damaging? No, the, no we, just we, we, we we got my good engine back together, went Wednesday testing it, had an issue with it, so I had to take it back out, I had to put the spare back in, which we borrowed off at Oppie again, which Oppie doesn't know about, we've stolen it off him and he'll never know about it. When I get in the view, I don't mention it so that he never finds out, you see, so yeah, no, no, but he's, he's all good, he just wants me to win the goddamn thing, you know what I mean? I mean, Hopkins Construction, he's, he's, he's one of his sponsors. But you had one of his cars up there, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's yeah, still yeah, there? Yeah, 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 definitely, we're on with it now, so. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're good. Good luck so, today. Thank, Thank you very much. much. And we'll come and talk to you when you win and things like I'll that. I'll try. Or crash, I'll do my best. one of the two. Or oh, both. Yeah, good. So the story so far after three heats is that Tyron Evans is, is kind of the top scorer. A heat win and a second place. Tyron, you're doing very well today. Yeah, no, I feel comfortable with the car. Car's yeah. fast and I'm just pulling it away. So, so in, that, in that race there, you just come off, you come off from your second heat, uh, finished second behind Eddie Collins, but you kind of got through the yellows, the what, you were just like, you'd gone. You weren't hanging around at all. It was very clear that you wanted to get going. Yeah, I'm not here to mess around or make up the numbers, so I'm trying my best to get to the front. And yeah. so, so like that's two heats down, one to get. So another good point score is going to see uh, you up there. You're starting to think about that, yeah? Yeah, yeah, obviously. He's get. noisy now, right? he's <laughs> deliberate. Uh, get, get the most points he can to get in front of the grid, yeah. so hopefully. So yeah, we'll see how we get on in the next one and hopefully we'll pull away in that as well. Yeah. You've had a bit of time off. Have you come back like reinvigorated? Uh, yeah, I was a bit frustrated sitting at home well, yeah. with my leg up. So got frustrated not racing. Yeah. And to be honest with you, when I saw Lewis racing and he wasn't doing that well that that pays me off. So. <laughs> but yeah. you know, like, but sometimes, you know, if you like you're racing week in, week out, it becomes like this thing. But I suppose a bit of time away, recharge the batteries. I don't know, does, does, is that a thing? Have I just made uh, that up? Yeah, I did. 
yeah. get on top of things with the cars that I'd miss. Yeah. But over the winter, it was a rough job to get everything okay. ready. So gave me a bit of time to get the, the cars ready for, yeah. I think it was Mel's and all my first meeting back. Yeah. So, but I did crap anyway, might yeah. as well not turn up. <laughs> That's Skegness, you did Skegness, didn't you, a couple of weeks ago? You, yeah. good, that's, are you stock car racing there, getting yeah. involved? Uh, no problems with my ankle now, it's yeah. almost back to how it was. So, yeah. yeah, just back on the stock car racing, back to what we're doing now. Hednesford is a very different kind of track, it's a, it's a big stock car track. Do you like the big tracks or...? Yeah, yeah, yeah well, clearly. Yeah. Um, yeah, the speed is unreal, yeah. so... It's just, cool. Yeah, if you're a speed freak, it's a track for you. Yeah. And is he helping you? Why is he not racing? Is he, is he like your chief mechanic now? Uh, Lewis has got a, co a lot of college work. I've yeah. just finished college. Ah, okay. So, yeah, he's still got his college work to do, so okay. he's focusing on that. And you're being your chief mechanic? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's clearly working. It's clearly yeah. working. Thanks so much. Well, if you do well again, we'll come and talk to you. And you might, you don't. Black and white checkered roof looks good. Yeah, it looks good on this oh, one. Thanks. Well, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. So, uh, we've just been speaking to Tyrone Evans, who's kind of leading point scorer, however, you've just gone and won your second heat, 10th place in the first heat, you're scoring some decent points there, Eddie Collins. Oh dear. I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but did you expect to at Hednesford? Because I know you like, you kind of predominantly do Skegness, don't you? Yeah. Hednesford's a different track, isn't it? Yeah, it's well, I've, I've never ever raced it, even Have if minutes, never done it. Okay. So coming today was kind of like, first corner, are we going to hit the fence, or yeah. am I going to break way too early and hit the infield? And okay. it was like, what do we do? And yeah. I don't know. Somehow we went through it and got it right, and we, we did all right, didn't we? The first one? heat, you would, you know, but the first heat going back to that, uh, you were out of front for quite a while. Then you kind of got caught up a bit down here and yeah. sort of dropped a few places. But yeah, one of them where I just I got put on outside and not full confidence in track and car yet, and just couldn't quite get back in and sort of thing. But you know, we kept kept going sort of thing, and luckily got a ten sort of thing. So we did all right, really. Yeah. And you went to him on the heat, which is fantastic. Even better. Yeah. <laughs> You've had quite a delayed start to the season. Yeah, so I, I think the Skeggy weekend was my first weekend. Yes. I've been waiting for engine parts, you know, so many drivers have. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that was the earliest that I could get out sort of thing. So it's, it's, it was nice to win the Conci at Skeg yeah. and maybe come in. I've only really come here to support the British and kind of just to keep seat time, just be in the car, keep rolling, keep that practice going sort of thing. So it's, it's kind of nice to have your little wins along the way sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think looking at the results so far, I mean, it's the big field of cars and the Reds and Superstars aren't getting through. They're, right. they're, they're, new. they're kind of 7th, 8th, not if Frank got 7th in that one and he was going to want to get better Reds. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get through in that British though. Do you reckon? Yeah, oh yeah, they're, they're going alright. <laughs> but the thing is though, you know, if it, if it stays like this, you know, you're going to have like a very different front looking grid. You know, yourself yeah. there, yeah, time yeah, over yeah. there. Yeah, I get that. It's, it's close grid though, obviously, into yeah. which... Adds uh, another little element. It's a bit spicy for Yeah, I've been, I've, <laughs> believe it or not, I've been here before. I think I was second row outside at Skeggy for British. Yeah. And first corner, put, put, put straight in. Yeah. I slapped that wall with my right rear, and it was like, wow, we're in the mix of it now. And uh, I just kept my foot pinned and kind of bounced out of it, and I was in this gaggle of cars, and yeah. it just all ended yes. kind of badly. So it, it, can, it can go great, can't yes. it? Or it could go that way. Yeah. So, you know, so fingers crossed the good, the good thing. We were liking the good thing. Yeah, You've retained like, the distinctive kind of colour scheme this year. Well, I hadn't raced it enough under it because I keep yeah. having engine problems <laughs> and gearbox and all that sort of stuff. But it's very so, distinctive. It gets lots of comments, doesn't it? People yeah, like it. Yeah, it's just what it is. You get a lot of people like it. You know, It, it works for me. You know, I, I, I just couldn't afford to paint it when I built it and it worked for me. And it's easy to keep up to. And it's just like, you know, eventually we will, we will have a nicer looking car, sort of more pristine. but. For now, it was perfect for me, and you know, good. as is. That's it. Good. Lovely to talk to you. Well right. done for your heat victory, and Thank good you. luck in your next and last heat. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what, what happens. Yeah, don't trash it. Well, well, well I've, I've already started. <laughs> yeah, well, what's this? <laughs> Who did that? Yeah, I think Charlie saw it. Last day for 14th or something yeah. stupid like that, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a little champion. Yeah, you yeah. Can do you've got to forgive him, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm all on board with that. <laughs> Cheers, Jonathan. John? So we're going to chat to number eight, Catherine Harris, who's had a very, very good meeting so far. All three heats, two seconds and a four. That's very good. Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. We've uh, had some issues throughout the meeting. Not major, but just little bits to make it better. Final, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. I like the restart in your last heat when you kind of like delayed everybody. 
and then you got going. That was was that intentional? It wasn't, was it? No. Definitely not. <laughs> we've, uh, I think we've got the fluid in the clutch is boiling, so okay. it's struggling to get it in gear. So yeah, yeah. on the restart, so yeah, you know, I'll get gone, and it was the complete opposite, yeah. really. So I just made it more hard work for myself, and then managed to put myself in here, yeah. and uh, yeah, so we got second. So it's not bad. It's in, so we've had five, no, four heats, four heats so far, haven't we? Yeah. And it's been very much dominated by lower graders. It's, you know, like, I think Tom was fourth or fifth in that one, so it's, you know, you guys are like up there at the moment, aren't you, points wise? Yeah, definitely. I think the, the front couple of rows really will be more lower graders, yellows and blues. Um, but yeah, we're just going to get a big push from behind, but we'll just give it a go, see what happens. Before the meeting, I was like looking at uh, social media and people talking about who's going to win, and your name kind of kept coming up. You know, you had a really good skate nest, and like people are kind of getting captains really on form at the moment. Yeah, you know, I, I don't have much confidence in myself really, but when I because I don't, when I do well, obviously it makes it, it yeah. makes it better. So um, no, we had a good skate nest. We had some bad luck in the final and the national one yeah. for, uh, on Saturday. Sorry, um, but yeah, other than that, it was it was good and it was on pace. And it Tom's like kind of top of his game at the minute, isn't he? Yeah. And absolutely, people are going, Tom's the favourite, blah, 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 blah. But for you, it must be really difficult. She wants him to do well because he's your brother, but actually, the better he does, the it's difficult. Yeah, it is difficult. Like in that last one, I could see him behind me and Scriven. Yeah. I was just thinking to myself, there's not many laps left, just stay where you are. Yes. You know, you don't really need the points to get on pole. And so, yeah, it will, uh, it's nice though, it's nice racing with him. Yeah. And, Nobody, nobody has a go back at Tom, but you do. Like, you're probably the one that does it the most. Yeah, you know, everybody says that nobody hits him, and the thing is, when you're sat in them, it's totally different. You know, you can, you can do a uh, kamikaze shot and take him out, but you're probably going to end up taking yourself out, yeah. or the next lap, he will take you out. Yeah. So, you know, it's, like you say, if I'm sat behind him, there was a, a me and a Steg a few weeks ago, and I sat behind him, and I kept giving him a few little digs, but then, he has just got the edge at the end of the day, yeah. and nobody else wants to ruin their own race no. for the sake of beating Tom. Absolutely, you no. know, it, take, You've got to take your hat off to him, he is, he's the best at the minute, and yeah. he's the man to beat. So when you do beat him, obviously it's, it's a good feeling. Yeah. But you've not only beat Tom, but you've maybe won a race as well, so it's like a double, double yeah, thing, isn't exactly, it? Absolutely. Yeah, exactly, and you know, all the, all the top ones have had their time, and uh, yeah, so, no, it's good. Good luck for the British, we may talk to you again. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very much. You. Pleasure. So we've had all five heats, Callum. Yep. Um, we'll come to talk to you because you've done very well. Right, well, okay, you started bad. <laughs> yeah. But then you've got a second and a first. So you, you're going to be up there on the grid. They're just on the grid out now. Right. But you're going you're gonna to be well up there. Well, hopefully, yeah. But hopefully I'm on the inside because it looks like it's going to rain yeah. and being on the outside isn't always the best, is it? So. No, no. You've done very well today, though. Is, have you raced Formula You've done Formula <laughs> 1 here? Yes, because you raced it, didn't you? Yeah, oh, the last year. Yeah. Yes, I remember now. Yeah, yes. that was a bit of a mess. Um, I got put in after the flag and it ripped the chassis to shreds, to be fair. Yes, um, I do remember now. So I think I've done about 10 laps here yep. in total, <laughs> until today. So it's good though, because you had like a really bad Hedmersford, now a really good <laughs> Hedmersford so far. Yeah, so, so yeah. far, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just a great track, isn't it? It's yeah. so fast. Like, uh, obviously we were at Ipswich the other week and that was the first time I've been there in the dry. And that was a bit of an eye-opener to how far she can actually go, because obviously I'm still pretty new to her yeah, fans. Yeah. And then everyone's like, oh, Henders for so much faster. Like, fast you get the switch. Yeah, well, that's what people reckon. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's going to be fast. And then I put my foot down in the um, my second heat when I properly got going, and I was like, yeah, this is good. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> so, season to date, you, you're, doing, you're doing all right. You get, you get involved in some incidents, and <laughs> yeah. you do some winning, and yeah. all is good. Um, yeah, we decided to do some shale this year. Not every week, and yeah. obviously we don't race every week, because I play football still, and it's, it's a lot of money, really. Yes. Um, Obviously this year on Shale was just about learning. I think I've had a bit of an eye-opener there as to how much different it is to Tarmac. Yeah. And it's sort of relearning everything I've learned from the past year and a half to sort of just, yeah, like basically just from scratch again on yeah. Shale. Um, Tarmac's been okay. Um, 
obviously we didn't do a couple of the meetings to start with because we were just trying to sort the car and um, yeah. I think it was the first Skegness weekend that I did and I had a quite a good Saturday just getting like a feel for the car because obviously it's a lot different. Yeah. Um, Sunday I managed to pick up that first win and we sort of just pushed on from there really. I either seem to do really well or just put it in the yes. wall. Yeah, it is. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'd agree with you there. It was a summary. Um, just looking at today's British, it seems a very... It's not what people expected. You know, like the, the heats have gone to like blues, yeah. whites, yellows, you know, and it seems a bit of a... It's, there's not. I mean, Tom will be up there, but it's not superstar heavy at the front, is it? Yeah, definitely. And usually I'm used to like seeing the likes of like Ryan and Tom or Frank coming up behind you and you're like, oh, here we go. Yeah. Um, but no, everyone seems really fast like then. I was trying to chase Eddie Collins and I'm like, Jesus, yeah. he's getting a move on here, isn't he? Yeah. Um, so I thought that because, you know, we had the stoppage and like, we had two stoppages and yeah. like, Tom's coming and you're going, not Tom's going to win it, but Tom's got a really good chance yeah, now. But coming, then yeah. you got yourself, Finn Sargent, Eddie Collins, yeah. you, know, all, you know, all racing at similar speeds. And it's, yeah, it's great. It's just, yeah, it's just to be involved in something like a good stock car race. That's yeah. I love being involved in stock car races. And obviously, like, I'm still learning, so... To be involved in a big stock car race, it's always good because you learn something like, oh, I won't do that next time or I might do this. And to be honest, I'm not really bothered where I finish. I'm just learning. Yeah. It's great. It's starting to spit with rain. So what do you do now? <laughs> Would you just kind of wait till the last minute and make a decision? Um, or do you say, Tom, what are you doing? To be fair, Dad loves putting the tyres on, it seems. So I just let it crack on. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, it says it's going to rain, but you can never okay. trust that, can you, no, really? No. So we'll see what it does and go from there. Well done for today. Good luck in the much. British Championship. Thank and, you very much. Uh, yes, good Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. So just going to chat to Paul Harrison, who's the only Red Top to have won a heat today. You've come off Heat 5 just been on. You've won it. It's been a very lopsided day. You did expect, you know, the likes of Tom, Ryan, yourself yeah. to be winning every heat, but it's not. It's been whites, yellows, blues. I appreciate that you included me in that list of just people just that could have won. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? The low graders, they get a good run of pace around here. They're all yeah. fast. Yeah. They've all got good cars. Uh, and they're getting good brakes. And they, a lot of them are good drivers. Yeah. So they are getting away. And yeah, like you say, it's a, it's a funny old day. Uh, Ennisford yeah. can sometimes be like that. Yeah. You can get blue tops that do pick a final win up and such. But yeah, I'm dead chuffed for that win. It's good. great. So after Frank, you've won the most British championships on the grid today. Right. Yeah. So you could be fifth. You can get this for your yeah. fifth, fifth. Your one. fifth That'd championship. Nice. Yeah. yeah, that would be lovely. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what? I haven't come here with any great aspirations to, no. to rock a fifth, but you know, when you've qualified well and you're up on the grid, well, you've got to be in it to, to, to win it, haven't you? And yeah. the, way, the, the weather could go either way, I think. I think that the last two, uh, the Britishers that I won on, on Tarmac were, were both wet tracks, yes. certainly at the start. Yeah. So, um, who knows, you know, it's, uh, it's one race, isn't it? And uh, get a decent grid position. I don't know where I'm starting just yet, but I'll, Somewhere near the front, I would so imagine. Everybody is stood down there, like they're all kind of going, Where am I? Where am I? And you're yeah. just like, Wherever. Well, they'll, 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 where <laughs> they'll tell me where to line up, won't they? And then we'll get out and see what we can do. But yeah, I'm sure that there's one or two that were faster than me. You know, I've had a, I've been fortuitous that I've started at the front of the Reds, but um, well, this. But you uh, say that though, to be fair, uh, you know, like because everybody's been going, like Tom's the one to beat today, but you know, in that one there, he, he didn't seem that much quicker than anybody else. He was, it's all much of a muchness, it seems, it, today. It, they're the heats, aren't they? Come the final, he'll t up a gear, no doubt, and, uh, and turn it on. And obviously, Ryan's shown his, his pace and defending champion three on the trot and all that, so yeah. his, his, his pecker will be up. And uh, yeah, hopefully, it's a good race for the fans. I would like to think that I can come out with a smile on my face. And, yeah. uh, Certainly putting a good performance, that'd be lovely. Yeah. We spoke to you a few times last year and you've gone back to your old uh, tarmac car. Yeah. You had, we had one for the that's right. final. Yeah. That's kind of gone... Yeah, I'm more comfortable in this. It's, it's more of a traditional seating position from what I've been used to over yeah. the years with my legs forward for the brake pedal and such. And I have gone back to it. It's yeah. a folding built car and Peter and Jordan kindly came and gave me a bit of assistance before the last Skeggy to try and get it around a little bit quicker. Yeah. Didn't quite work at Skeg, but obviously the, the, the effort that they put in to help me get it on pace yeah. has worked today. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm comfortable with the car. It, um, it performed then, so. Yeah, yeah. So was it a case of, because I mean, we spoke, you like, I, I'm enjoying my racing, want to go a bit quicker, yeah. and you've got the Ferris car, but yeah. it actually just didn't suit me no, and my driver's the, the, style. the car just, it was legs down to the brake pedal and such, something yeah. that was alien to me, and I couldn't really get on with. Yeah. And so it was a case of, well, we'll take the bigger engine, we'll put that in the folding car, and, and see how we get on. Yeah. And, and it's suited the track today, it's been good, so. I mean, it's for yourself. I mean, you've been racing quite a while, so you've, you've got like, I know what I'm comfortable with, this is how I yeah. race, and then to try and change that, it's probably, actually it's, I can't it, do that. It's anymore. like trying to teach an old dog new tricks, yeah. I guess. And for the guys that do the left foot braking, and it, it all works for them. Yeah. But like you say, I've been at it for 
over 30 years, it's probably even knocking 35, and it's um, it, it, it's a tough gig to try and change yeah. my position within the cab, and I'm comfortable uh, as I am with my shell car, the same thing, old-fashioned, legs forward, and it works for me, and I generally get a bit of pace out of them, and uh, yeah. It's good, it's all good. One last thing, so British is kind of on next. Looking a bit further ahead, we've got Shootout, yeah. and you're kind of sat in that top 12. So I believe, yeah. yeah. So it's, I, I, I didn't. I didn't come with any aspirations to try and get into the shootout, but it's just transpired with the meetings that I've done. Yeah. We've had reasonable finishers that have put me in there, and so yeah, we'll go out. I did, uh, it's my 25th wedding anniversary this year in September, so unfortunately I will miss at least one of the rounds. Yeah. But the other nine, then we'll put the effort in and yeah, good. and uh, we're going to have a bit of fun and hopefully come out. As I say, if we can come out smiling, then it's been a good day, hasn't it? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Good luck for the British. Cheers. Thank, thank you very much. much. All right. Cheers, Justin. Pleasure. Pleasure. So the last person we're going to talk to before we have the British Championship is yourself, Mickey, because you've qualified front uh, for you, outside row four. Yeah. It's been a good day for you. It's been all right so far, yeah. but. Um, Got a got a bad feeling about the last race, but but the thing is though, right? You're saying that I know you're kind of like a bit concerned about being outside fourth row. But all around you is blues, whites, yellows. Is there any kind of Tom that's sort of seen Tom and Paul kind of sitting in it there? From past experience, the yellow roof, the white roof, you're always the respect sort of aspect to okay. it. So I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll run away, but I doubt that very much. But You've you been very know. quick today, though. Yeah, it makes a change. I've had a pretty poor year. Yeah. So it cheers it up, definitely. Yeah. So this year, going back to this season, you seem to have, you know, you're going really well, and you always seem to get caught up with other people's clashes. If you don't move out of the way, you, you stay there, you, you keep going, and like, you know, you're involved in the race, but you seem to kind of get caught up. Uh, I don't like surrendering, if that's what you mean. Yeah. I don't like surrendering my spot up, but. Um, Sometimes you have to move because it's just for the for the good. The points mean <laughs> the more. Are good. The points the good. mean more. So if you get put in the fence, you're scoring nothing. Yeah. So if you got a really fast lad, you're better off moving and taking something yeah. better than nothing. So I think going into today, people would have expected the grid to be Tom, Frank, Ryan, Matt. Yeah, you know, but it's not. It's, it looks very different. Why is that? Why do you think it's such a not normal? I think on big tracks, you don't. Yes, the bigger engines always help, but you can carry speed. And when so, it, it just seems to take forever to catch anything. Okay. As long as they don't make a mistake it, or back marks and tripping up, it yeah. just takes forever to close anybody down. Yeah. That's how it feels to me yeah. anyway. It feels a long time when you've chased it someone, just to get that little bit yeah. more on them. Because even getting to the corners, like you can't, you can't get it, can you? You've got, to, you've got a limit of what you can. You yeah. know you can get around that corner. I don't know how the best lads seem to just get that extra bit, but they do, so. And do you like Hedmissford as a track? Or should I ask you after the British? Yeah, ask me after, okay. if I'm yeah. not shoveling it in. <laughs> <laughs> in the back, with a face on me, yeah. Ask me then. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Thank you so much. Good luck at the British Championship. Thank you. So the British is just lined up on track. On the whole is Catherine Harris in number eight. A fantastic meeting. Callum Thornton. Sitting on the second row inside. Tyrone Evans, second row outside. Finn Sargent, he's towards the middle inside. Michael Scrivens had a decent day on two, three, four, and the seventh row. Mickey's had a brilliant day. Fourth row outside for Mickey. And Warney, I spoke to Ant at the start of the meeting. What a bit of a disappointing day for Ant. It's time towards the back of the pack. Throw outside for Andy. Rick Lenson racing under a UK licence today, 316. He starts on the back row. Lily for the kick. Fantastic effort from Lily. Starts alongside Bobby Griffin. Three rows from the back. Stevie Raymond starts alongside Finn Sargent. 
nice road. Bit of drizzle in the air. First of the superstars to make their way onto the grid is 84 Tom Harris. There's some debate around what tyres to go for. Paul Harrison. Third row inside, Tom Harris. Front row, Matt Harris. Followed on the show by Matt Newsom. And sixth row for Matt alongside Michael Scriven. Bradley Harrison is struggling to start. Brian Harrison, I'm guessing, is going to be the last car onto track. Brian defending his trophy here today. Brian starting fourth row inside. Danny Wayman was looking for Mr. Neon. That's how he's got him. Then for Morrison, Franklin Jr. Jr. Looks like he's going to back of the grid. Franklin Jr. looking to make it 10 trophies. Inside row 5. Right. Adam Joyce is on the back row.
So Finn Sargent is the 2023 British champion. The huge talking point, however, is the last bend where Catherine Harris went for Ryan Harrison, drove over the front of his car, rolled it, and um, unfortunately neither of them, them finished. Uh, but uh, certainly Catherine got the huge applause and you can see the massive interest in, in that particular incident. So Catherine Harris, what a race. And I think the story of the day is obviously Finn Sargent's won the British Championship. You came very, very close. I know, yeah. Hats off to Finn, you know, he did the work he needed to do. Sat behind us both and I think he could see what was going to happen. And right place, right time, you know, fair play to him. He's built that car on his own and he's won his first championship. So, you know, can't congratulate him enough. You, right, you've come off the track, and I know you're quite emotional with, you know, with, and you kind of a lot of people have been spoken to because that is kind of also the massive story of the day. You were quicker than Ryan, you got on the last bend, and I think kind of Ryan like through, he, he did some, I don't know, coming down the back straight, it kind of threw it all out, didn't it? And yeah, you know, to me, you race the race. You don't, you don't play with whoever's in second. You, you drive your own race, and he tried playing me, and at the end of the day. I wasn't going to take it and pass him because on the very last, he was doing it for two laps and then on the last lap goes into the corner on the brakes, goes out wide, so I tapped him in the nerf rail and then coming off the corner he tries turning me up in the on the infield so um, you know I just let him go and yeah did what I did. I didn't want to sit there for second because I yeah. knew I'd have been annoyed with myself if I got second. Um, so yeah, I did what I did. Uh, it'd have been nice to have come off yeah. with a win, but it is what it is. I think in, you know you're making decisions in split seconds, aren't you? And I think, did you think you could hit him and get through, or did you, was it kind of it's an unknown, isn't it, the way you were going into that bend? Yeah, the thing is, because I was so close to him, and he he was already on his brakes. Yeah. You know, you can't. <laughs> you're good. He's very nice. <laughs> you can't. Um, you know, lunge at somebody yeah. if you're that close to them, and he's obviously not going in his yeah. full potential sort of thing. So I just did what I had to do. Because yeah. I knew I wouldn't get past him and I didn't want to set off second. And, um, did you debate it a few laps earlier? But I, I'm guessing you knew it would come back and he'd have got you, so. Yeah, I've already had the rant off Tom. Right, okay. Saying he was sat in the middle, shouting at me to do it earlier. Yeah. Um, and obviously it was there in my mind. I knew I was faster than him all yeah. day long. But if I had messed that up, yeah. three laps earlier then I'd have been the one that was getting put in yeah. down there so you know it works both ways and like you say you have that split decision to make it and I did what I did and it is what it is it's not the outcome I wanted no but, but the thing is though you I guess you going home now you're not kind of kicking yourself for not having a go and you, you know you've done what you've done and it's not worked out for yourself but actually you've you've driven a soccer race so yeah definitely you know it's all part of it, isn't it? I've had my first rollover now yeah. as well. Oh, good, so that's good. That's <laughs> always a bonus. Um, but yeah, it'll keep them busy in the garage, yeah. I'm sure, the next two weeks, ready for the semi final. So. Catherine, thank you for taking the time out to talk. I know, like I say, it's a, it's a difficult thing to talk about, but I appreciate you and your time. So thank you so very much. much. All right. We need a real manly cuddle right now. <laughs> you fucking legend, man. Hey, Finn. Proud of you, mate. Oh, Proud of you. Which is champion, mate. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can you believe that? Not really, no. Who's champion? I know. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. You could have had your hair cut. <laughs> Oh, 
Your trophy, right? Are you doing right? We yeah. spoke before that, and yeah. you're going, You've not spoken to me today, yeah. So, you went and won the British, this is the second yeah. biggest championship in the sport. It was a pure determination of coming to speak to you, oh, to you. Honest. Yeah, <laughs> that, that willed me on for the last how many ever laps. It's brilliant, absolutely. How are you feeling? Uh, I don't really believe it yet. It doesn't really feel real, it doesn't feel like I've won it, no? um, but you did, yeah. I didn't. Didn't ever expect to be in the top 10. We was sat at the lorry before and I needed a, a top seven to get in the shootout. And I thought, just drive sensibly, get a top seven. I looked on the restart and I said to little uh, Ted, I said, uh, try and do me a favor and let me in front of you because you're seventh and I'd need your place for the shootout. <laughs> but uh, yeah, never, never ever would have dreamed this. And then it didn't, didn't sink in until I was sat around there. They didn't know to speak to. And I was like, oh, well, it's happened, happened. And then, yeah means the absolute world to me. Everybody who's done anything for me in however long I've been racing, but especially with this car and to get here today and the cost of it, travelling, dad, everyone. This is the car that you built. This yeah. Is, and we did this. Right, listen. It's a car that you built. Massive yeah. congratulations. And you, you. you've got all your family, your friends here. It's yeah. a superb day. Yeah, I don't really believe it yet. I mean, it might sink in. I've got to drive two hours home on my own, so it might sink in yeah. by that point. Yeah. <laughs> Keep yeah. bringing people in you. Did I win the British Championship yeah. at Headless? I've got to stop for some fuel on the way home, so yeah. I might mention it. <laughs> to the cashier and then the show goes. Yeah, I don't think I'll get away with that. <laughs> Finn, massive congratulations. Thank you very much. Cheers. So, you've either got a very nice suntan or you're a bit emotional. Both. Both. <laughs> what do you expect after what he's just done? Absolutely. Yeah, just what dreams are made of, isn't it? How, how do you watch that and kind of how do you will him on? How, what's going to, I, I was very do. quiet the last okay. six laps. Because okay. I knew he got third and we, he said to me for the weekend, he said, Dad, if I have a good end, yeah. I'm in the shootout and I'm probably in the time trials at Venray. Yes. And he's been on at me to go to Venray on and on and on and on. And I didn't, really, I didn't want to go. Yeah. But I ain't got no option now, have no, we? we got a British no. champion in the house no. in a self built car yeah. from a little house in Lincolnshire, you know. It's, a, um, it's almost a fairy tale, though, isn't it? Like you, you know, we on the journey with Finn, you know, we kind of featured his new car and he's built it himself and he's, you know, second biggest championship in the sport. Unbelievable. Just the last two laps, I was like this and I never said a word. And call it corny or what you like, but I, you'd sort of dream something. Yeah. You wish it would happen, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then you dream something like this would happen. I dreamt something like this would happen Thursday, Friday night, and I'm thinking, do you know what? If he's there and he's in the right place, if it's your day, you're going to win, yeah, mate. And that's all I've told him yeah. all week. And today is his day, our day, the best day. Do you know what I mean? And um, he's come off track, and I think you know the huge kind of congratulations and like hugs and kisses. It's just like everybody's very, very pleased for him, aren't they? He's a lovable kid. Yes. Um, I'm gonna say he takes after me, but he must be adopted. That's all I can say. Um, well, Frank, it's just there's no rule book bringing the kids up. No. But you know, me and his mum separated. But I think we've done a pretty good job bringing him up. Yeah. And and that's it. You know what I mean? But the boy's got talent, fabrication-wise, mentally, and driving skills. You know, I love him to bits, and it's just no words. No. We was in a mess. I'll be honest. I'm there. Um, but it's just you need to let it sink in. Surreal. Just, yeah, absolutely. I get that. Um, I absolutely get that. Another thousand quid on two wings with a look of it for next <laughs> weekend at Mild and all. But it's worth it. It's worth it. it. I've got to keep going to work, yeah. but I'm yeah. so pleased for him. Yeah. You know, he, he he comes home on a Friday night, say nine o'clock, he sees his mum on a Friday night for an hour. He comes home on a Friday night and he's in the workshop till one o'clock so we can go racing. You know, he's he's the brains and the brawn and I fund it and do you know what? Fair play to him. Yeah. I would, you know, I would have been more than happy if he got to red. Do you know feel? Oh, you have no idea. Are you crying? Yeah. <laughs> no tears. It's on camera as well. And it's just the same as that at, yeah. at, at Ipswich, you yeah. know. And it's just, and you're numb. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's the best feeling in the world, you know. You can enjoy your evening. You pray for the scales, don't you? That's what you can say. Yeah, just do it. Yeah, but um, you know, it, it, we scaled it before and it was fine. And it's just, 
what a rest. But no, we need to enjoy it. Cheers, all right. See you in Mildo.